How's it going guys? So Teapot here. Today we are back with more story of Teapot. And today is a pretty nice day actually. It looks really nice to be honest. I wasn't expecting it to look as nice as it does. So yeah, it's a pretty nice day to be honest today. And uh, today I'm going to be... I'm at work again from 1 o'clock, half past 1 I believe it is, or 1 o'clock till half past 5. So I'm going to get downstairs and uh, say good morning to Evie and Kim and then uh, chill out for a little bit and then start getting ready for work. So I'm now joined by Amanda to Evie, who's in a very good mood this morning and we're just watching um, Breezy, or Bree again, uh, which, I, which I, we were all watching as well yesterday. And um, so it's currently half past ten actually, it's still quite early. Um, so today, like I said, I've got work um, from one till half past five. And um, so I'm going to be setting off to work. Really? I'm going to be setting off to work at about twelve o'clock today. So um, I don't have to go to like Argos or anything like that today. So I can set off a little bit later, which is a massive bonus. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to be setting off at about twelve for that. Uh, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to jump on some Fallout and play some Fallout because I've been having a lot of fun playing that. And since they brought out like the new seasons kind of mode thing, um, where like you've got to go through like a, a t like a, a list or like and it's on like a it it's kind of like on a, like a board game kind of thing, and it looks really cool to be honest. It's like it's a really good update. Um, so I'm going to be jumping on that soon, but I am going to show you um, little G soon. Kim did get a picture of him this morning um actually like on his uh, black vine thing but he's, he seemed to have moved in center upon uh, what kim had said as well when she came down this morning she put her hand into like um uh, spritz spritz sexual thing and stuff like that and apparently um little g put his hand on top of uh, kim's hand as well which is actually really really cute um so i'm gonna see if i can maybe try to get him to replicate that at some point but he seems to have gone further into his home a little bit at moment, so hopefully he comes out a little bit later on before wait, before I go to work, or maybe even when I come home, so then I can show you guys some more clips of, of um, Little G or Gizmo. So, I'm now on my way to work, obviously I'm ready and everything like that. I think it's, it's quite a nice day today. Um, the breeze is like nice and cool, um, and but the sun's just about right as well, which is brilliant. But like I said, I'm on my way to work. Um, but I am running a tad bit later than usual. Uh, so, I'm picking up the pace a little bit to make sure I actually do get there. But I should have plenty of time. So I don't need to be there till 24 minutes past. And it's not even dead past yet. So, I've got plenty of time to get this. Like I said, it normally takes me like 10 minutes to get to the bus station. But, like I said, I'm going to pick up the pace, get there pretty quick. Because I don't want to risk missing it at all because it'll be just my luck it'll like turn up five minutes earlier some nonsense like that so i'm now at the bus station and uh i said that i was actually gonna rush here a little bit and i think i rushed here a little bit too quick because i've got like i did originally have nine minutes when i got here uh, but i waited outside for like five minutes just to uh, well just to sit outside for a few minutes and uh now it's six minutes until it's actually here so it's not too long really um so i'm glad i actually made it here on time i'm glad it did turn up early because uh well, not to be honest, I've already gotten it perfectly fine, uh, but it should be here, like I said, in the next like five minutes or so. And then um, when I get to work, I'm just going to probably get some to eat and drink there rather than go to B&M or something. So I was going to bob into B&M when I had nine minutes, but I didn't want to really risk it with it being a Sunday. Uh, so like I said, I'll get some up when I get to work. And yeah, so today, like I said, should be a pretty reasonably short shift. Like I'm there till um, half five today, but. Uh, We've been a Sunday, we might, might even finish early, who knows, but yeah, it's very unlikely though. I'm currently on the bus and I could pull this down ever so slightly because I'll tell you something, like, like every other bloody day, there's no one on the top of the bus. But as far as I'm aware, there's no one on my bus whatsoever, like at all, it's completely empty. Which is probably the first time ever really, I think, since I've been back to work that the bus has been completely empty the entire way. Because I don't think it's even stopped once. It may have done, I've just not realised it's been um, uploaded my, well, getting uh, my tags and everything and my description done for my vlog, uh, to, for the vlog that's uploading today. But doing that on my way, but as far as I can tell, I haven't stopped once or anything like that, apart from like, the traffic lights and stuff. So, it's been an empty bus the entire time and it is currently only 25 tonne. 
uh, one, and obviously I don't start for one, and I am literally, the you can always see behind me, nearly in Dewsbury, if you know the view, because the way that I come has this magnificent view behind me, I think I'm going to time lapse at some point, like the view or something like that, it looks absolutely uh, crazy, uh, because it looks just absolutely stunning, um, but yeah, like I said, I'm nearly at work now, and as soon as I get off the bus, I'm going to make my way to work, and then like I said, I'm going to get something to eat and to drink before I actually start. So, I'm now at work, and I've got about 8 minutes, yep, bang on 8 minutes like I have to start, and I said I'm going to get myself some food and something to drink, and I got myself a big bottle of Luke's said, keep it going throughout my entire shift, because uh, I've all ended up needing it for just energy and stuff like that, and to keep up with my healthy balanced diet that I've got going, I decided to get myself some crispy rolls for food, because uh, I have such a, such a good diet, and I look after my body so well. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to get these down here just to give myself some, just fuel and energy really. Um, like, get as much down as I can, well not too much down so I don't want to make myself sick really. But I'll get a decent bit down and then uh, get onto my shift and then you'll probably next see me either when I get have a quick, like five minute break, which is highly unlikely because I probably won't take one to be honest, there's no point really today. So I'm on such a short shift, but if I got offered one, I'll take one. Um, but probably like I said, you'll either see, next see me on my break or when I finish my shift at half past five. So, I have now finished work and I'm on my way to the bus station. I finished about 10 minutes late, but to be honest, it's probably my own fault a little bit because uh, I've been still chatting with staff afterwards after I finished and everything like that. So, it's probably my own fault a little bit, but I don't mind. I want to med the bus anyway, so I don't mind waiting a little bit for it. And uh, with me talking to my colleagues and stuff like that as well, if anything, it means I don't have to sit at the bus station for as long. Um, but I'm gonna, well, I'm making my way home now, and when I get home, I think I'm gonna jump on um, Yakuza, Yakuza Zero today, because uh, I've been uh, sat up, stood at work doing my, doing my job and stuff like that. I've been probably like thinking about it, craving it, wanting to play it again. So I think I'm gonna, oh, excuse me, I think I'm gonna get home and definitely jump straight on that, or not, maybe not straight away, but like quite quickly, because obviously I'll give Evie a cuddles and stuff like that as well. And I just got bloody rained on by a tree. Ah! I'm bloody went down my neck and everything. Um, but I shouldn't have too long of a wait for my bus. I should only have like a 20 minute wait or so. So I'm going to get to the bus station and probably have like a 10, 15 minute wait for my bus. So I am now home and um, we are all, well, I'm just joined by Evie. Hello. Uh, she's in a very, very, very good mood as you can tell. And uh, Kim is just over there watching some TV. And we are all watching um, a, an absolute classic. We're watching Bugs Life at the moment, and it is really, really good. Um, I don't remember it being as... Well, I do remember it being pretty good, but I don't remember it being this good. Um, but Evie seems to be... Well, when she watches it, seems to be enjoying it. <laughs> I think, to be honest, though, we're watching it more than Evie is at this point. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to, like I said, wa watch this for a little bit, but I'm actually going to jump on um, Yakuza soon. And uh, I'm going to have some tea soon as well. We're going to be having uh, some Chinese stir fry, I believe. So I'm going to, well, Kim's going to be making that, well, going to be putting that in soon. And um, like I said, I'm going to play some video games shortly, but I'm going to go upstairs in a minute and actually get changed. So, Kim just shouted from the kitchen that um, I didn't record us eating food, which I didn't. So I need to actually, well, I'm still eating luckily enough. Yeah. Kim was sat there, but she's just going to the kitchen to go and, like get Evie's bottle ready for her food because we're just upstairs at the moment watching. Um, I believe Peppa Pig, but I'm not too sure. But we are having, like I said, Chinese stir fry, and I've eaten like most of it, and all my chickens got it, and everything like that. But I'll tell you something, it is really, really good. If you've never had these before, they're just from Iceland, and they're about I think like three quid or something like that. Um, yeah, I think they are actually three pound, and they are actually really, really good. You just chuck them in uh, a wok or something like that with some oil, cook them up. And they're really, really good. You can get like, you can get all sorts with like these types of stuff. Like you can get a pasta, you can get a paella, and there's all sorts like that. They are really, really good. I'm gonna, we normally get uh, either this one or the uh, chicken and bacon pasta. The chicken bacon pasta one it is absolutely gorgeous as well. But there is a few other ones that I do want to try at some point. But like they are spicy and stuff like that. And obviously, with my condition, I can't have spicy food and stuff like that. So I need to be careful what I'm actually picking up and stuff like that. But um, there is definitely some more that I am going to try at some point. So, um, it is now half past 11. Yeah. And uh, Evie is now not long gone to bed. And um, we have now, we've obviously turned off all of uh, 
little G or gizmos, lights and everything like that. And Kim is actually still away for once, which is a surprise. Oh. <laughs> and she's still in my jumper. <laughs> Um, but um, we've turned all like all uh, little G's lights and turned his lamp down and everything like that. We normally do that about half past nine, so it's been a good few hours. And when I came home, we couldn't find him whatsoever. Like he just he's got a hiding spot, right? That's just spectacular. We cannot work out where he hides. It's it's mad, mind blowing how he hides, ends up hiding like he does. But if you look, actually, that reflection is not helping at all. Let me speak camera around. So, as you can see, if I zoom in, that right there is good old little G, or uh, Gizmo, whatever you want to call him. Um, and he's, he's turned his head away from my light, I do apologise. Yeah, he's not too happy about the light, but we need a little bit of light to be able to see him, but he's looking rather good, he's looking, he's growing day by day, he's looking bigger, I think, already, which is really mind-blowing, to be honest, that he's grown already. But he's looking really, really healthy, which is a massive bonus. And I think in the coming days, we're going to maybe try and start, like, handling him and stuff like that. See if he'll come into his hands and I stuff like that. This, I tried this morning and he kind of looked at my hand as to say, what are you doing? <laughs> you imposter. Yeah, he seemed rather confused by it. So, like, I think we're going to, like, um, obviously, like I said, just start, like, putting his hand out in front of him and hopefully he'll start coming out and stuff like that. Because we don't want to pull on him or, like, try and force him out or anything like that. Because uh, we crested geckos. Crested. Yeah, crested. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you were going to say leopard then, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Bad as me for getting it wrong. Uh, yeah, so we crested geckos. If you pull the tail or anything like that, the tail literally falls off. Um, it's like a defence mechanism, if anything, like, pulls up the tails or anything. Um, and it grows back, obviously, and stuff like that, but uh, we don't want to risk any any damage to him or anything like that. So, obviously, we're just going to let him come to us in his own time. Um, so I think from tomorrow we're definitely going to start to try that, um, but we're going to leave him to his devices since uh, he's obviously... It's his daytime now. Yeah, it's his daytime now because he's a nocturnal animal, so we're going to leave him to his uh, devices and let him enjoy the rest of his, well, day, evening, whatever you want to call it. So guys, in the last clip you'll have seen me and Kim talking about Little G and all his defense mechanisms and all that kind of stuff. And um, not literally straight after that, we like just chilled out for like 10, 15 minutes. I think I played like I played literally like an extra 10 minutes and 15 minutes of Fallout, and then realized that we were both extremely tired and that we just wanted to go to bed. So we ended up just going to bed and um, chill, well, chilling in bed for about 20 minutes, half an hour. And then we actually just went to bed, um, and that were it really for the rest of the evening. So there weren't really anything else to film or anything like that. Sorry, so I could have probably filmed the outro last night without really a problem whatsoever. But for some reason I just completely forgot to, it just completely slipped my mind. So I'm happy to do it now. So guys, if you did enjoy today's video, uh, make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe as well. Also, down below in the description will be a link to all our Discord, uh, like Discord, Facebook, Twitter, um, all that kind of stuff. There'll also be a link to Patreon if you'd like to support us. Obviously, if you can't support us, we appreciate that you just watch these videos. Also, guys, if you could share this video, the more people that see it, the better it is for us. Plus, if you share it with your friends, it gives you something to talk about when you see them, even though at the minute you can't really see too many people. Well, anyway, guys, I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's video at 6pm. And peace!